that the melody of Miles Davis's Nardis uses a well-known Middle Eastern scale? Let's look into it. Today we're going to explore why I call Nardis a tune from two worlds. One world is the world of jazz, the other is the world of Middle Eastern and Indian music. The jazz part of it comes from the man who composed it, Miles Davis. Nobody really knows what the name means, and Miles is a little mysterious talking about the name, but he wrote this in 1958, which was, at the time, very unusual. He had an incredibly complete knowledge of harmony and also was starting to explore modal scales that were Middle Eastern and Indian to get away from conventional sounding jazz. He took this scale from another world and surrounded it with jazz harmonies. So there's two scales. One is the Phrygian mode, which is the white keys of the piano. From E to E. And the other is Hijaz Kar, or in Indian music, Bhairav. Also called double harmonic minor. It has two minor thirds in the scale. So Miles integrates Phrygian mode, this Middle Eastern scale, and jazz harmony. All the chords that go along with this melody are based off the white keys of the Phrygian mode. E minor, an F major 7, a B7, a C major 7, an A minor 7, an F major 7, and then an E major, and then an E minor. So that covers quite a few of the white keys. And then he has a bridge, and the chords there are A minor 7 to F major 7, F, A minor 7 to F major 7 again, and then a D minor 7 to G7 to C major 7, F major 7. So by now he's covered all seven of those white keys as roots for the chords. Now even though it's in E Phrygian mode, which you would think if you're a harmonica player, E is the Phrygian mode of C, fifth position, maybe it would work best on a C harp. Well, the fact is that the melody makes it work better on a G harmonic, because what we have here is, we have to play that D sharp, and then the E, and another D sharp on top. And so when I'm playing it on the harmonica, that's the third hole draw bend all the way down, then a whole step down, and then up to the sixth hole draw, the sixth hole draw bend. Fourth hole draw bend, third hole draw, bend down a half step, and then a whole step. So the third hole here uses all four of the notes that are available on an E harmonica from all of four of those notes are used in the melody at one point or another. So the G harmonica, it fits Nardis very beautifully. You don't need any overblows, overdraws. Even as a soloist, you can play an absolutely convincing jazz solo over these very interesting pastel colored chords. And I'm gonna do that for you right now.
So that was a solo. I couldn't help myself. I did use the first whole overblow once. I was trying to avoid them because they're part of my normal vocabulary. But you can see that it is actually extremely comfortable and feasible to play a solo on a G harmonica on this tune. When Miles wrote this in 1958, it was very unusual for jazz musicians to solo over modal chord changes off of the Phrygian mode. And the first recording of it was made by Cannonball Adderley. Miles actually wrote it for Cannonball's album called The Portrait of Cannonball. And a lot of the playing on there, nobody sounds extremely comfortable with it because they were experimenting, you know. And this was a year before Miles put out his famous Kind of Blue album, which had much more modal writing and people were a little bit more used to playing on it by that time. So I'd like to show you what it sounds like on another harmonica. Now, I mentioned already the fact that uh, you would normally think playing along the Phrygian mode in E, you might want to use a C harmonica. The only problem with this is the melody. You have to reach down for the first hole overblow and then the fourth hole overblow. And if you play it up here, It's pretty high. It's sort of in the piccolo register. So it's kind of challenging, but it's also kind of fun to play over it. I'll show you what I mean. So I made a track with an Afro-Cuban feeling. It's more aggressive, and so the C harmonica actually works pretty well to solo over an artist with this feel. try it playing in cross harp position, second position on an A harp. You know, it does work. It's bluesy. It does require playing a bunch of overblows if you play the melody. But the thing is, hey, maybe you want to play the head on one harmonica and solo on another one. That's what's so amazing about our instrument. Every time you play in the same key on a different keyed harmonica, it brings out a different feeling. Why don't I play a solo to it now uh, with the original Brushes uh, jazz ballad feel, that kind of Mysterioso vibe that Miles originally wrote the tune to be in. As an interesting sideline, there was a tune that was very popular in the 1950s all over the world. It was an international hit, a Greek tune that just so happens to be in the same key and the same scale. It's called Miserlou. The bridge goes to A minor from E. I think it really bears a resemblance in a, in a strange sideways fashion. The 
mysterious artists 